Author Introduction George Orwell was the pen name of Eric Arthur Blair, a British writer and journalist born in 1903. He is best known for his novels, Animal Farm, and 1984, which are considered classics of modern literature. Orwell's works often dealt with social and political issues, and he was a staunch advocate of democratic socialism and a vocal critic of totalitarianism. He also wrote numerous essays and articles on a wide range of topics, including literature, politics, and culture. Orwell died in 1950 at the age of 46, but his legacy as a writer and social commentator continues to endure today. Short Summary, 1984, is a dystopian novel by George Orwell that depicts a totalitarian government's control over its citizens in a fictional world. The story follows Winston Smith, a low-ranking member of the ruling party who begins to question the party's power and falls in love with a fellow rebel. As Winston's rebellious thoughts and actions are discovered, he is subjected to intense psychological and physical torture by the party's agents. In the end, Winston is broken and fully submits to the party's authority revealing the ultimate powerlessness of the individual in the face of a totalitarian state. The novel is a critique of totalitarianism, propaganda, and the dangers of a society where citizens' every move is monitored and controlled by the state. Detailed summary of the novel, 1984, is a dystopian novel written by George Orwell and published in 1949. It is set in a future totalitarian society where the government, known as, the party, has complete control over the lives of its citizens. The story is told from the perspective of Winston Smith, a low-ranking member of the party who works in the Ministry of Truth. Winston is disillusioned with his life in the society and starts secretly rebelling against the party. He begins to question the reality of the world around him and starts keeping a diary where he expresses his true feelings. Winston meets Julia, a fellow party member who shares his rebellious spirit. They start a forbidden relationship and begin meeting in secret. Winston also meets O'Brien, an inner party member whom he believes is sympathetic to his cause. However, Winston's rebellion is discovered by the Thought Police, and he and Julia are arrested and tortured until they confess their crimes. Winston is eventually released, but his spirit is broken, and he learns to love Big Brother, the leader of the party, who is portrayed as a godlike figure. Throughout the novel, the government uses various techniques, such as surveillance, propaganda, and censorship, to control the thoughts and actions of its citizens. The language of the society, known as, Newspeak, is designed to limit the range of thought and make rebellion impossible. In the end, Winston accepts his fate as a loyal member of the party, and the novel ends with the chilling line, he loved Big Brother. 1984 is a powerful critique of totalitarianism and a warning about the dangers of giving too much power to the government. The novel's themes of censorship, propaganda, and surveillance continue to be relevant today, and its impact on popular culture has been significant. Conclusion the conclusion of 1984 is a bleak one, with the protagonist's rebellion ultimately failing and the government's control over the citizens remaining absolute. However, the novel serves as a powerful warning about the dangers of totalitarianism and the importance of individual freedom. One of the key morals of the novel is the importance of questioning authority and resisting attempts to control and manipulate individuals. 
Winston's rebellion against the party, despite ultimately failing, is an act of courage and defiance in the face of oppression. The novel also highlights the importance of language and communication in shaping our thoughts and beliefs. The creation of Newspeak, a language designed to limit free thought and suppress dissent, shows how language can be used as a tool of oppression. Finally, 1984, serves as a reminder that the freedoms and rights we enjoy are not guaranteed and must be continually protected and defended. The novel's vision of a dystopian society serves as a cautionary tale, warning us of the dangers of complacency and the need to remain vigilant against threats to our liberties. Subscribe to this channel and share this channel with your friends.